Hey guys, Ben Fishing here. So I'm gonna demonstrate a Chobe wrap. In this video I was uploading today, I was using a kind of some older anchovies that were mushy. I was having to use a wrap to keep the bait on the hook. And you can use this with anchovies and sardines. It works um, with most small fin fish that you're using as dead bait. So right here, I've got a, this is like a size 2 red octopus hook. I hope you can see it alright. And then I have some 80 pound test that I'm using just for demonstration purposes. Normally I would use some fluorocarbon for my leader. Here's an example, some string, 100% fluorocarbon. This is an 8 pound. I usually go heavier than that. I usually do about 10 to 14 pound test in the ocean. The 8 I, I use more in like fresh water. I'm going to go ahead and get into the demonstration with one of these deep bodied anchovies first. You're going to start off and you take the point of the hook, you insert it through the top of the eye section. get it all the way through the other side and then you're going to pull your hook all the way through that eye section there once you have that done you want to pull out some slack maybe about three inches past the length of your bait and then you're going to wrap it one, two, three times. It looks like it's not going to be enough. And you can pull it out, pull some more slack. Now, once you have it wrapped, you're going to want to insert the point of the hook through the top portion of the tail where it's more meaty. And then, as you slide it through, I usually try to get it through the bone, that way it's more secure, but it's not super important. Once you slide it through, you're going to pull it like you did through the eyes, except don't pull it all the way through. Just leave it so you basically have a lot of point there for the fish to grab onto. And that's it for a single chovy wrap right there. throw it in like that. This is what I would probably have rigged to a Carolina rig or a sliding rig, sliding live bait rig. Obviously it wouldn't be live bait in this situation but it works fine. So that's one wrapped anchovy, deep bodied anchovy in this case. So I'm going to take that off. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, we were catching fish on the older, nastier bait, so we were having to use, or I was having to use a nicer anchovy, and then I would connect it to a mushier anchovy, using the same thing again, this wrap. So, start off, I already have it through the eyes, remember that step. And I'm going to do it again with this hand jelly. Pull it through the eyes. Get the eye of the hook all the way through. And I usually go through the top portion to try to keep the eyeballs intact. But if the eyeballs come out, it's not the end of the world. So I'm pulling on it. I'm going to get a few inches of slack, probably four, since I'm working with more bait here. And just go ahead and wrap it. One, two, and three. And that's not enough, so i got to go back around, pull up some more, and try it again. One. Two, three. 
and then this time I'm going to try to get it through both tails. Hope you can see that. Okay, so I got it through both tails, points out, exposed, give it a little tug right there just to make sure your wrap is nice and tight. And that's ready to cast. That's a double anchovy wrap right there. You can use it to, like I said, attach a fresher one to a nastier one. Because in this case, we were having fish bite the nastier bait. So, it was hard to get the nasty bait to even stay on the hook. So I had to use a firmer bait just to keep the nasty bait on. So, anyways... That's two anchovies, the deep bodied anchovies. Now I'm just going to do one last demonstration with the sardine. And it's all the same. I mean, I just wanted to show you that you can do it with more than one fish. Go through the eye, pull it through. Try not to pull the eyeballs out. Harder to do with this 80 pound test. I'm going to give it like, I don't know, five or six inches, and then wrap, two, three, that's still not enough, I'm a little rusty at my wrapping, one, two, three, and then go through the tail, Try to hit that bone. That'll keep it in there firmer. Then pull it through. And pull on the eyeball end. Pull on the wrap. This 80 pound test doesn't pull through as well, so I'm having to pull each individual wrap to get it tight. So once you have it tight like this, you're ready to go. You're, you can throw this bait really hard. It's not going to come off the hook. And the bait have a, or the fish have a harder time stealing it. That's the, one of the best things about this rig. So, hope you guys like the rig. Uh, it usually takes about, I don't know, 20 inches of fluorocarbon for this rig and yeah you can use a hook like this like a size 2 you could even go smaller bigger I wouldn't go too big but yeah that's the anchovy sardine wrap and we'll get back to the fishing action and show you how it works oh we got some good anchovies They seem to like the bad ones. <laughs> Nasty ass choke. Set it. I like to wait. Let him eat it. It's harder to do, but. I just hate it when I set it too early and it's like uh, fucking. Way, right. Hey! Bird!
Yeah. You just got down there, huh? I think it's a bonefish. I gotta get the. I don't know. I think he ran in. Yeah, just pick it up real quick. Don't don't real. I think I'm right under it, so I think we're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn. You just took a smoking run. He's going for the ocean. Right? Don't let him get in there. That's mine. Where's that net? Thanks. Had to get what? Yeah. Got him. Hooked out. Had to soak my feet. <laughs> Keith, that's so weird how they'll hit the mushy. Yeah. But they don't want a live bait. I'll go around this way. Cool. Yeah, I I'm using real light line, so it, the the fights last longer than what Keith's got going on. I think he's got like 20 pound. I got 10 pound. You see that? Oh yeah. What happened, Keith? Uh, he's going for the bucket? Yeah. I knew he was going to do that. 16 and a quarter. Cool. Yeah, he's just like going off slow. 